A local aquatic center is closing just weeks before the swim season begins. It's due to age and the cost of repair to the facility. I talked to the St. Charles Parks and Recreation Assistant Director today about the hard decision to close McNair Aquatic Facility. The McNair Aquatic Facility won't be filled up with children and families this year, or any more. Unfortunately, after 31 years of operation, the McNair facility has kind of got to the point where mechanically, structurally, it's kind of got to a point where it's no longer kind of feasible to operate the, the, this aquatic facility anymore. So we kind of, pardon the pun, pulled the plug on, on McNair Aquatic Facility. The city of St. Charles built three aquatic facilities for residents in 1992 and 93 with McNair, Blanchett, and Wapplehorst. A 2014 aquatics facility review led to a 2016 request that voters pass a sales tax to spend $18 million to replace Blanchett and Wapplehorst, knowing that McNair's days were numbered. The, the, the mechanical system here is 31 years old, the, the concrete's 31 years old, the plumbing underneath the, underneath the ground is 31 years old, so we've had a, we've had an, a, a leak that we've, we've been working to try and detect. A substantial leak under the pool shell that completely drains the 165,000 gallon pool in days, unless it's continuously being filled. Due to staffing, McNair was closed in 2022, averaging 100 people a day back in 2021, while Blanchette averages 500 and Wobble Horse averages 900 people a day. This, this is a two and a half acre tract of land in a pretty old park that it's in a good location within the city. So we're, now we're, we're kind of, although we're sad that the aquatic facility is closing down, we're, this is an opportunity to kind of see what's next for this park. Next up at McNair, the facility will be demolished. You can make a comment on the St. Charles Parks and Recreation Department Facebook page with a suggestion on what you'd like to see in its place.